Hi, everybody. It is Leah Brown, my sugar bears. Happy Tuesday. Happy Pride Month for those of you. So I'm coming on here to talk about that since we are in the beginnings of Pride Month in Gemini season. Shout out to my Geminis of the world. I want to talk about what pride means to me. So um, for me, being that this is Pride Month, uh, not only for the U.S., but for uh, various parts of the world. Pride for me means a myriad of, of different things. Pride to me means strength. It means growth. It means love. It means unity. It means community. Uh, but I also look at pride with, okay. I look at pride as in, in a skewed view and I'm gonna tell you why. Because I am of a different generation. I grew up in the nineties. So I remember, you know, the early nineties when you had each, like not saying you don't have it, you as you do. But when you had the ACT UP movement and you had the protest and you had Don't Ask, Don't Tell, or you had, you know, this was before the cocktail and, and People were, you know, it being a really grim, sad time. But for the generation coming up now, and even the ones coming up after, you have more representation. You have things like polls. You have things, uh, people like T.S. Madison, Laverne Cox, Carmen Carrera, uh, India Moore, um, Dominique Jackson. Like you have... You, you have uh, people that you can look to and go, okay, cool. You know, you have drag race now. You have legendary, you know, for the ballroom community. Whereas, and my nails are chips, and pay no mind, child. But anyway, whereas in my uh, growing up, the only that I can honestly recall for me like the only gay person that really, um, how do I put it, that really uh, represented gayness for me as a, as a gay man, there were actually three, because I was going to say it was one person, but there was actually three. It was Richard Simmons, it was RuPaul, and it was Greg Gaines. And for me, it wasn't until maybe Will and Grace that I was like, oh, there are different types of gay people. But I knew that I fit in there somewhere, but I never saw me. And I didn't really see me being represented, me as a Black gay man, being represented until maybe Noah's Ark. But even then, Noah's Ark was very fantasy. Noah's Ark was very um, unrealistic, you know. So now what pride means to me now, like pride used to mean for me just going out and partying and, you know, looking cute and all of that. And when you're in your 20s and even in your 30s, you do that. That's what you're supposed to do, I think. But now as I'm getting older, pride has taken on a different meaning for me. Pride is not just going on a float, hooking up with a bunch of people, even though it can be that for some and there's nothing wrong with that. But pride is just remembering for me, remembering those that have, that have come before me, remembering that, you know, um, that my life, just because I happen to be older or part of the older community, though 40 isn't old, but you, you know what I mean? Just because I'm not young, because unfortunately, and James Caldwell said it, actually, he says it a lot in his, um, Polls reviews. And it is true. And unfortunately, it's not true just for homosexual society. It's true for heterosexuals too. Because if you look at women and what women go through, women who are 40, 50, you know, and how they have to kind of claw to remain, um, I don't need the word relevant, but to remain to like for people to be like, oh my God, they still have something to give us. Um, is difficult. So if you look at, you know, 
game, especially in the game, may, I don't know how it is with lesbians. And because it may be different with lesbians and transgender people, but I don't know. But as a gay man, we I we 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 what am I trying to say? We put youth on a pedestal. We do. You gotta have a body, you gotta look good. You can't look your age. You know what I mean? Like you can be your age all day. You can be 65, 67, but don't look, you know. Uh you can hang with the kids, you know what I mean? When really in reality, you know, we often think that just because you happen to be older, that your life is somewhat old. But we 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 glamorize youth. That's what I was trying to say. We glamorize youth a lot. And we make it a more of a thing like, oh, you're young, or you look young, or you act young, you know? And we don't often take into account, well, wait a minute, those same young people one day are going to be older. And the one thing that, you know, like I said, as, as now my views of pride have really changed is the one thing I really, really wish that we would get to is more, and I think some people do, 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 do this, and that is more mentorship. Meaning like you look at the young people and you're like, listen, I know you're 25 and you're hot headed and you're 23 and you're 19, but let me, I'm not going to take you under my wing, but I will help you kind of navigate through life a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's hard out here. You know what I mean? And I think especially now with social media being what it is, you know, you've got TikTok and Snapchat and Twitter and all these different messages, you know, and television. And unfortunately, because we, we are in the middle of a pop of pepperoni still, even though we're slowly coming out of it. You don't have anyone you can really go to. It's kind of rare that people can have people to really talk to. So that social interaction is missing. That connection is, is missing. So, you know, being able to talk to somebody, being able to, even for people who are my age, the one thing that we often deal with, people who are 40 and up, is loneliness. We deal with, you know, not being able to talk to each other and connect, you know, build actual friendships and relationships and things like that. Um, but that's the one thing I think is missing. So pride for me means that. It does mean mentorship. It does mean, you know, like if you come to me and you ask me for advice or my opinion, I'm going to give it to you, you know, and same goes for me, you know. So for me, pride is many different things. It's not just clubbing and drinking and, you know, and just that one day out of the week in June where we're nice to each other. Because unfortunately, we do we get our own. We do. Let's just be real. We do. And, I th and, and let's be honest. Every community does that. Whether you're Black, gay, lesbian, uh, a woman, uh, every community does that. There's that whole utopian, oh, we need unity. A lot of us need to really let that go. I'm just going to be honest. We really do. We need to let that go. That's not going to happen, you know. That's cute. It's cute in theory. But in reality, that's not the way it works. That's not the way the world is. And that's just not for, that's for every community. That's not just for the gay community. Um, but for me, pride is many different things. Like I said, pride means truth. For you to live in your truth. Pride means coming out, but also going within too. Because just because you, you choose not to go to a parade, you choose not to be in the club scene, like for me, I'm not a club person. I am not a club, like, no, I shouldn't say that. That's not even true. I'm not a loud person. I, as, as I, like when I was in my 20s, you couldn't keep me from clubs, you know, and from dancing or at least trying to dance. But now I like lounges. I like intimate. I like small. I like being able to talk to people, connect with people. I like being able to look nice, you know, flirt, and, you know, and I'm not saying you can't do that at a club because you can, but nine times out of 10, you can't. It's loud, it's crowded, it's, you know, um, a lot of peacocking, which is normal. 
you know, and you really can't connect with people. And so for me, as I've grown older, I like small things, small environments. Like I would rather have a house party, you know, something like that. But, you know, but going to the club is fun. But like I said, as you grow older, things change. People change. You're supposed to change. And I think for a lot of us as gay men, we fight that. It's like, oh, I don't want to miss out. But you got to understand, it's now time for us to let people, like, like Lil Nas X, for instance, he's 21 years old. Let him live his life. Let him live in his truth. And let us live in ours. And, you know, like I said, it's pride for me is not just living your truth and coming out, but also going within if you have to. If you miss out on pride this year, it's okay. It don't, that don't make you any less gay or any less a part of the GLBT community, GLBTQIA, hey, hey, cabaret community. <laughs> you know, it doesn't. It just means that you are not uh, in the mood to be around, you know, because a lot of us deal with that. A lot of us deal with, you know, socially awkward things and anxieties and stuff. And even with myself as a person who's disabled, I often go, I often um, preference a lot of things. Like if before I go to a, um, like before I go anywhere, I often look for places to sit. I often look for like places where I can kind of, you know, like I know won't be too much of a burden on my body because, you know, I don't look, you know, thank goodness I don't, well, I shouldn't say it like that, but you know what I mean? I mean, I look older, but I am. And my body is definitely showing signs of that. And that's okay. And with me being disabled, like going to a thing like pride can be a lot because I'm dealing with a whole bunch of people, people I don't know. I could easily fall, you know, things like that. It's hot. You know what I mean? There's a lot of different um, uh, variables that can be, you know, that can make a person feel a little displaced. Though it, that's not the intention but it can. But I say that if you don't go, it's, it's okay, you know. Um, and, you know, when it comes to like coming out and things like that, the one thing I have learned, and I'm really learning this as I grow older is, as I mature, is coming out as a process. The first person and only person you can come out to is yourself. You don't have to tell everybody in the world that you, that you are into men or that you're, you know, asexual or trans or whatever, you don't, excuse me, just come out to you, you know what I mean? And, and figure yourself out. And like I said, coming out is a process. It's not overnight and it's continuous because even with myself, as I grow into myself and, you know, um, figure myself out, I'm coming out. It may be in different ways, it may not be through, it may not be in the realm of sexuality, but it may be through, you know, learning different foods, cultures, languages, you know, uh, realizing, okay, this is what I want in an intimate relationship. This is what I don't want. So coming out is a process and is different for different people. So that's just my thoughts on it. I just wanted to, to um, express myself and say what I, what I feel Pride means to me. And I would say for all of you, for all of my GLBT uh, followers, I love you. I support you. I'm here for you. I think that in this day and age, it's wonderful to see representation. It's wonderful to see people that look like me on the screen, the stage, in books. It's wonderful to see that. Uh, and we've come a long way, but we do have a long way to go. So now, with that being said, I asked a question to people who are watching this video. What does pride mean to you? So let me know in the comments below. Being a fact that it's pride month, what does it mean to you? Does it mean that you just are letting every flag you have fly? Or does it mean, is it just another day? Like, is it, or is it just another month for you? What does pride mean to you? So leave your um, comments below and I will talk with all of you very, very soon. Have an awesome, awesome day and week, and I'll see you later, okay? Bye-bye.